My dear friends, today we're going to learn a technique which I hope you will find very useful. A lot of people, a lot of us actually, suffer from a very fast moving mind, racing thoughts going at 500 miles an hour. And we find it difficult to stop, relax, pause, or focus in meditation. So to start with, I would like to explain very briefly about our minds. We have three levels of mind. There's the lower level where all the thoughts that are necessary to allow us to sustain ourselves in this world, material level thoughts, uh, basically if you're looking, if you're hungry, you know, the thought is go get some food and that need is satisfied. These level of very basic thoughts live in our lower level mind, which by the way is the noisiest of all levels. Then there's a second level, which is the higher level mind, which is where we make major decisions, decisions that impact our lives. We look at things from a much broader angle. We draw upon inspiration. That is the higher level mind. Then the third level is the intellect. The intellect is the highest level of our mind, which is in direct frontiers with the origin, the source of our life energy, the universe, whatever we wish to call it, the oneness. So the intellect is really the most refined, highest level of our being, which is in essence engaging with our spiritual being. So in today's meditation, what I would like to do is to walk you through a process of going completely still and rising to these three levels and learning how you can engage with much higher levels of your being to achieve pure focus in meditation. Now remember that you as a being are completely still, pure stillness. And you're witnessing all these thousands of events happening around you, but you are completely still. And this technique is to allow you to recognize yourself to get in touch with you, the higher self. So I'd like you to close your eyes, relax and breathe freely. Be completely relaxed, let go of everything and breathe freely. I imagine you're standing in front of a house which is your home. And the house has two floors and then a terrace which is open to the sky. So you walk into your house through the front door and as you enter on the ground floor, there's people in your house, full of people. It's like there's a party going on. Lots of noise, laughing, food, drink. And you want to silence this level because this is your ground floor and it is too noisy for you. And you're looking for stillness. So since everyone is in your house, you are the host, they're your guests. You ask them all to be silent, sit on the floor and join you into a meditation of stillness and they follow. And you all sit on the floor with your eyes closed and breathing freely. You imagine that you're standing in front of a beautiful lake. The sun is shining. The rays of the sun are sparkling off this lake. In the distance, you see snow-capped mountains, forests, nature at its best, nature at its most beautiful. And then you take a few steps 
and enter the lake. And you walk into the lake until you are knee deep. The water is at your knees. And then you look down at the water and you see that it is choppy. Lots of little waves bouncing against your knees. But you wish to see your reflection of your face in this water. So you look at the waves and start repeating in your mind, stillness, stillness, stillness. And as you repeat these words, you're slowing the water down. It is slowing down, down, down and becoming much calmer. Stillness. 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 Keep repeating these words in your mind and calm the water down completely. Make it still. Stillness. 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 And the water has now gone completely still. Like a pure, perfect, pristine mirror. And you can see your face in this water with complete clarity. You are in complete stillness. 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 Everything is completely quiet. Everything is completely still. The ground floor of your home is completely silent and still. Your lower level mind is completely still. And then you start climbing up the stairs to the first floor, your higher level mind. And on this floor, you walk straight into this big, bright room with a huge glass window, which is open. And standing along the window is a table that is touching the windowsill. You can see out of the window and it's beautiful, bright, sunny. And then you see before you three boxes. Each box is the size of a birthday party balloon. And the first box says world. So you push the box next to the windowsill and you open it. And you take out a white balloon. And this balloon has the words on it, world. And there's a string attached to it. And so you place the balloon outside of the window and begin to release the string as it starts to float away. This balloon is your world, your life, your material life your loved ones, your friends, your challenges, your agendas, everything about your world is represented in that balloon. And you let this balloon go away, drift away, until the string becomes tight. And then you take a pair of scissors and look at that string and repeat, detach. Detach, 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 because you want to detach from your world. And with that, you cut the string. 
and you see this white balloon floating away from you towards the horizon and you repeat gratitude, 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 gratitude for all the blessings of this life in this world, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. And this balloon now has disappeared beyond the horizon. But you know that it will be there for you when you return from your journey. Then you bring the next box next to the windowsill. And this box says past. And you open it and you take out a green balloon which has the word past written on it. And once again, it has a string attached to it. You place the balloon outside of the window and let it start floating away. This balloon represents your past, your memories, happy ones, sad ones, challenging ones and you want to let it go because on your journey your world must go the past must go and when the string gets tense you take the scissor look at the string and repeat detach 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 and you cut the string and you watch your past floating away from you towards the horizon as you repeat gratitude, 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 gratitude for all the memories and experiences that you have lived thus far that are represented in that green balloon. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. And the balloon of the past has now disappeared from the horizon. And then you bring the third and final box. And it says future. And you take out a yellow balloon. The yellow balloon represents the future. It has the word future written on it. And you place the balloon like you did with the others outside of the window and let it start to float away while you hold the string. You're letting go of the future because it hasn't happened. It is not important. But it is one that you will fill with hope and you will fill with faith and belief that the future for you is one to look forward to, but for now you must let it go. And it starts floating away, and as the string gets tensed, you take your scissor, you look at the string, and you repeat, detach, detach, detach. And you cut the cord and watch the balloon of the future disappear towards the horizon. You have let go of the world. You have let go of the past. And now you've let go of the future. And as it disappears before your eyes, you repeat hope, 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 hope. A future that will be filled with hope when you return. Now you're on the first floor and you only have with you the present. You are completely immersed in the present. You are completely still. Everything is quiet and still. And you start to climb the staircase to the terrace. And at the end of the staircase, there is a door. And you open this door and step out 
onto the terrace. And now it is dark, it is night. And you look up into the sky and it is filled with stars. And there's a beautiful, bright, shining moon. And you open your arms out as you look at the universe and you repeat oneness. 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 You are oneness. You are one with the universe. And you start floating higher and higher into the universe. Oneness. 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 And as you float into the universe, you are completely still and you are the light and you repeat light, light, light. There's nothing but light all around you flowing through your being. You are in complete oneness. Light, light, light. You have left behind your world, your body. You are now completely one with the universe. You are light. And in the presence of this light, you repeat the name of your source. The name you believe to be your origin, your creator. I will use the word origin, but you can use whatever name you choose. Origin. 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 You are one with the universe. You are light and keep slowly repeating the name of your creator, your source. And stay in this beautiful, peaceful stillness filled with light and continue your meditation. And I pray you be blessed with much success enlightenment, self-realization, as you repeat the name of your source, slowly and peacefully. Stay blessed always.